guys welcome in a new video in which i will be showing you how i added this ir sensor so uh, i made this car fall proof with this ir sensor that i'm showing right now uh, we are going to be placing it on the front of the uh, robotic car so that it senses the bottom and or a pit and it doesn't fall currently we are connecting the needed pins so ground vcc and uh, output and the output is digital so it means one or zero zero if uh, there is no uh, ground and one if it's on the ground so currently i'm putting the three wires through the hole for the car and uh, getting them underneath So when I get them underneath, I get a wooden stick and ho put hot glue on the end of the stick. But firstly, I connect the, the sensor, the wires. And then I bend the uh, sensor things downwards so we can place the sensor so it detects down. Then I place the hot glue on the stick. And then I glue the sensor onto the wooden stick, just like that. So waiting for it to stick and then placing it on the bottom. There is no need for glue because it held, it is held holding it on its own. And uh, we put it there. We are now going to uh, connect the three wires. So we are connecting them to the analog ports because all of the digital ones are already used. But that doesn't matter because we can uh, uh, configure them for digital input from the software side. So connecting the USB-C to the Arduino Nano and now we are going to program it so firstly deleting all of the previous code because i had an uh, ultrasonic sensor for the, for the bottom but that didn't work so currently erasing all of that and making a new int for the pin number for the the sensor so that would be a1 and let's check ground pin then we are doing another int for check ground, which will be the value of uh, if there is a ground or not. Then we do pin mode check uh, ground from the pin and put it on input. Then we are going uh, to my void function for obstacle checker and also deleting the previously written code for the ultrasonic sensor. And we are going to write new one. So we do check ground is equal to digital read from the check ground pin. Just write it up. And that is basically all we need to do for the checking part. Just adding a comment for a future upload to GitHub. And then we change for the serial print line uh, to the new value, so check ground. And we need to change it uh, in the ifs, so it doesn't check the centimeters, so it does check 0 or 1, or if there is or isn't a ground. So that's what we are doing right now. And... Uh, we are going to upload it. So firstly select the USB port and then the port Arduino Nano, just like that. And we are going to upload it. Waiting for it to compile and then it will upload so before we do anything else we need to change another thing so uh, 
we need uh, it to go back when it senses that there is uh, a bottom so it doesn't fall. So we are going to check the, the left and right ultrasonic sensors. We are going to paste that in the check ground if statement. We are going to delete the coming out and we are just going to paste the if statement so it decides on which side to go. If there is more space on the right, it will go on the right and vice versa on the left. And that's it basically for the code for now. And we are again going to compile it and upload it. And now you see the car on the bottom right. And we are going to plug in a pin that is needed. No need to discuss that right now. And we are going to activate the automatic driving mode. So no controller it's driving automatically. And it doesn't really work right now. So the thing is, it goes, it says to go backwards, but we didn't add a delay. So it goes backwards more time this uh, without a delay the code runs faster and it doesn't even go backwards so we are going to add a delay for like 500 milliseconds just 500 and that should be good to go we are going to connect the USB-C again and compile and upload the con code again So seeing the car in full screen right now and we are going to remo remove the keyboard and put the car in the, into the automatic mode and let's see if it works. So yes it does, it detected the, whole, the edge and it turned right but on the second test it failed because we pushed the sensor too far back so it needs to be a lot uh, more forward so it detects the ground sooner and not right before the tires so moving the sensor forwards and uh, replugging the cable in and now it works so that's basically it for adding the sensor for right now you can see how it was added and everything. Thank you guys for watching and see you in another video. Bye.